Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in this video I'd like to show you how I made this really useful cap slash hat rack just out of some scrap wood and some old coat hooks. This video is sponsored by Skill. So recently they sent me these new tools which I'll be using for this project. If you would like to know more about Skill Power Tools, you can find their website and Instagram links in the description box of this video. Now, back to the project. So, my girlfriend has this growing collection of caps and she needs somewhere to store them and display them. So for this project I'll be using this old pine board. First I decided on the length. If you'd like to know the dimensions of this project I'll leave them in the description box of the video. So then I used the speed square to help me to make the markings ready to make the cuts. And for that I'm using the circular saw and I'm using the speed square there to guide the cuts. Then with the palm router, I decided to give it all a round over front and back to make all the edges nice and round and smooth. This board was quite old and it had been outside um, so it had some cracks in it so I wanted to fill those cracks so I have some um, sawdust here and I've mixed it with some wood glue to make a nice fine filler and then with a scraper I can fill all the cracks in with it so that the wood is nice and smooth. Now I wanted to draw a center line all the way down the board to help me to position the hooks so I have the combination square there to help me to get a nice central line. Then I could take one of the hats to help me to space the hooks out so that I know exactly where they need to go. And then I could start adding the hooks. So I'm just making marks here where I want each hook to go and using the speed square to add um, a cross line over that center line. Then I could take an awl once I was happy with the position and make two marks for each hook ready to drill some pilot holes. I could then drill two small pilot holes for each hook. And to attach this to the wall, I'm going to be using this picture frame hanger. Again, using the awl to make some marks ready for more pilot holes. It's easier to drill the pilot holes now before I paint the wood rather than later on. So now onto sanding. I've got a 120 grit paper in the orbital, random orbital sander. and that gave it a nice smooth finish. I just need to finish it off with um, a sanding block. Now I've got some wood glue watered down uh, to act as a sealer because this is old wood and I wanna fill in some of the pores and um, that will allow it to take paint better it won't soak up so much paint won't need so many coats and it will help to just stabilize the wood too for the finish um, I've been requested to go with this purple color nice bright purple and I've used a roller here just to apply it fairly quickly and easily 
and I gave it two coats. Now I could add the uh, picture frame hanger with two small screws at the back. The hooks are some old brass hooks and I'm going to be using these brass slotted screws to match. Now time to get it on the wall, so I've got the drill set in hammer mode. Once a hole was drilled I could add a plug. And then offer up this cap hanger, cap rack, coat rack, hat rack and get it attached. So I've got a top fixing there and I also, in the end, I added a bottom fixing because it's quite long and this will prevent it from moving around. Now I just needed to add the caps and the project was complete. Okay, so that is about it for this project. Nice, quick and simple project. I think it turned out pretty good. It is just an old piece of wood that I found on some grass thrown out on the side of the road and some old brass coat hooks and a bit of paint added on top and you have something useful and I think it looked quite nice too. So if you did find this video useful, please remember to like and also consider subscribing for more DIY related videos. And as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.